Down to Girls the Wild. Uh, amazing. Uh, my name is Dizzy. Uh, we will be jumping in just a moment into uh, Hirschfeldum, which I've been playing through for on the order of sort of uh, 30 hours now, I think. Um. I'm hoping that little little Dizzy, our our PNG tuber model, will be appearing momentarily. We get a little dizzy. We got a little dizzy. Fantastic. Uh, so let's hit that select reserve button and jump right in. Uh, last time when we were playing, we wandered through the night. We had a bunch of ground blinds set up in various places. Uh, and part of what we're going to do today is probably set up a whole bunch more ground blinds. Bing, bing. Uh, so we have a whole bunch of missions. Let's have a look at them. Uh, we need a male red deer in Rotwald for the main mission. That's for future Dizzy. We need to head up to the uh, top right hand bit of the map up here. And I think up here, these two areas of, of straw fields. Uh, and we made some progress uh, last session. We wandered all the way up to this lookout point. Uh, then we have uh, to go to this little blob and pick off some people from round blinds. We have to go to... Uh, Hang on. We have to go to this little blob and pick off some animals from ground blinds. Uh, and we have to go to <laughs> uh, this little blob and harvest some foxes specifically from ground blinds. So there's a lot of ground blinding that we need to do. Uh, that's the, the, the name of the game. Uh, but actually what I wanted to do, and it'll, it's in the title, is I wanted to focus on this quest, at least to start us off, heading down to the bottom left of the map where we have been before, and uh, doing some shotgun hunting. So let's do a fast travelly on over. And then we can get to the most important part of any Hunter Call of the Wild stream, which is the bit where we fix our kit. Do -do -do. Uh, so, uh, I've been doing a little bit of stuff on Layton, so I have all of the Layton cores, we need to switch those off. I also am going to need more ammo for my .243, my 7mm, and my 10 gauge shotgun. Point two four three polytips. Let's get up to like fifty six. Uh, that's a good number. Uh, Seven mil magnum. We need loads of these. It's nearly fifty. That should be fine. Shotgun ammo. Ten gauge. As you can see, I so I, I bought forty of them last stream and 10 now, so I've bought 15 total. I've used exactly one lot of birdshot. Uh, but I was very pleased, those of you who follow on Twitter will know, uh, I was very pleased because I actually successfully took down a duck mid-flight using birdshot in the shotgun, which is not something that's happened before. Um, I've never hit a bird in flight with any weapon, because normally when I'm hunting birds I use the... Uh, what way is the wind blowing? It's blowing due south. That's sort of what I was thinking. Ah, uh, yeah, normally when I am hunting birds, I'm going with the old virant, which is a lot harder to hit a bird in flight with. Um, but also, the, the shotgun, it's so close range. I've never been close enough to, for it to sort of be worth taking a shot at an animal in flight before. 
Uh, but I did this time, and it worked out. I'm very happy. Uh, okay, doke. What? Let's grab the buckshot. So the buckshot will hit classes four to seven. Uh, that will be the majority of the animals we're likely to bump into. And then, if we see a red deer or a... I mean, we can take down the red deer with Buckshot, theoretically at least. Um, but if we get the option, we for a red deer or a bison, we'll swap out to a slug. Because they travel further and hit harder. And there's not much prospect of seeing a goose, which my oh, I can fix my bloody hang on. I didn't fix my uh, my collars. My kit is only half fixed. <laughs> uh, yeah, if we see a, a goose, which we won't, we have the bone shot for it. If we see a fox, we'll have to take it out with something else, probably. But then the chances of being able to shotgun a fox successfully anyway, like the need to be in a certain range, makes that an unlikely possibility anyway. Antler Rattler, uh, we want our red deer, roe deer, wild boar, and because we've got space to counter the goose, I still don't know if this works the same way as the other one. It says it only grabs the attention of flying ones, but that might have changed. I saw some tracks in that area earlier this morning. You often Hold do. On. I'll send the coordinates. You often do, Connie. Um, your name is Connie, right? I think your name is Connie. We don't have this on our on our on our hot bar by default. One of the things I have been thinking about doing, since I wanted sort of try out the shotgun a bit more is maybe I should actually... I, I'm, what I'm thinking is after we've hopefully shotgunned some animals in here around this area I might head up to the main story mission up here and if we've got time try and set up... Uh... Actually what's the other ground line mission? I mean, ground blinds. I don't think layout blinds counts as ground blinds, actually. So never mind. Uh, but yeah, I might travel up to the the story missions and see if I can set up a goose trap, which I've never done before. But there's a way that lots and lots and lots of people used to play this game to kind of farm for cash. Uh, I don't know that there will be goose up there. But typically the the agricultural fields seem to be goose hotspots on this map. So I'm sort of assuming there'll be geese up there. Having a peeky peeky around for any animals, we're not seeing anyone yet. This track, though, is our first sign of life. Uh. 
Now one of the things I'm not sure about is if I have to have, like... For, so I've never had a mission like this before, that where the objective is to create hunting pressure. I don't know if I have to have the hunting pressure in both areas at once, or if it's enough to just kind of go to one place, blob it all up, and then come back later to the next place and blob that all up. But because I don't know, I'll probably try and do them in kind of quick succession. I also don't know how much hunting pressure will be required to make in these various places. You know me and my, my game style is generally pretty averse to creating hunting pressure as much as possible. Um, and every time I do end up sort of getting a bit carried away and, let's say, devastating a whole herd of bison, I immediately kind of kick myself afterwards. Oh, we have a first time chat from Gregor Diamond. Welcome, Gregor. Uh, saying, this is an amazing game. It... I was about to, to wholeheartedly agree with you. It's a great game. I love playing this. I have something like 230 hours, might be 240 hours now, in this game. I love this game. I play it a lot. There's kind of enough wrong with it that I hesitate to say amazing, but no, I, I do love this game so much. This is probably also my most streamed game. Because if this is part like, I don't know, if this is like my 15th stream or something and this map, I've got half a dozen streams in Medved as well. That's a lot of hours of, of streaming time in the Hunter. It's an absolutely gorgeous game. So, I hope they make something similar with even more immersive aspects. As, as someone who is not a, a, a IRL hunter myself, what more immersive aspects could they add? Curious to know. Animals, animals. When you say immersive aspects, I hope you don't mean fewer animals. <laughs> um. Very excited there, <laughs> over nothing. Uh, now I'm falling down a hill, as one does. Something we really should be talking more about, the being excited to falling down hills pipeline. You sort of feel like you're really out hunting. Now, I kind of do most of the time feel like I'm really out hunting. Like I find the, the ambience to be very kind of sort of soothing. It feels like being out on a hike or something when I'm wandering around in this game. I think the main aspect of immersion that I would like changed is I would like the different weather patterns to last longer. Like, I'd like when it rains for it to rain for, like, a day. <laughs> uh... And maybe, perhaps, I would like for it to feel a little bit more worthwhile to kind of do the... the kind of hunting where you sit in one place and wait for animals to come to you. Because that's always felt like a bit of a waste of time whenever I've tried it in the game. I understand that that's actually kind of like a not insignificant part of hunting IRL. Oh, 
but look, see, here's the rain. The rain is lovely. I adore the rain in this game. Uh, it is one of my favorite bits of the like environment in this game that I already love the environment for. Um, but it'll be gone in sort of like less than five IRL minutes, which is still not very long in game time. And it just feels like no, I want I want this for ages. It's so good. I want it to last. How is there no one in this big old area? IRL, you tracked here and tried to sneak as close to them as possible. How close is as close as possible with an IRL deer? So I would say I can reliably come between, within sort of like 40 50 meters of an animal in this game, which to my mind is pretty close. Uh, hmm. This is a problem. <laughs> uh, ah, what I've done is I've hit the mouth of the gorge. <laughs> I see. <laughs> um, I'm not sure this is how gorges work IRL or not, but uh, <laughs> we'll take a slight detour so we don't break our legs again. Once you're that close, you have to be basically making no sound at all. Ah, I see, so you think the animals are not, like, wary enough of close-by sounds. Is that a safe way down there, or is that still just another big horrible drop? Uh, well, we might have committed to it anyway. Okay. Do, do, do. There we go. Down safe. I don't know why anyone was worried. Uh, Gregor Dunn says it's nice to let my primitive instincts take over. There is a certain sort of thrill to kind of like sneaking through underbrush, isn't there? And I guess, you know, like in this game, the only way you can modulate how loud you're being is by toggling sprint on or off, and then toggling if you're crouched or standing or prone. I suppose that's that's not that many like axes of variability when you get down to it. What time is it? It's 12.59. We should theoretically be here having a little drinky right now. I remember when we came here before, I don't think we actually saw any of the bison at their drinking zones. I think we were a bit late. But we discovered the evidence of said drinking zones. So I don't know how many bison there are likely to be. Uh, the answer is loads. Jesus. That's a lot of bison. Well, that's great news. More bison over there. You're the same. 
in the deal with living and thinking. Jesus. I'm not sure I'd go that far. Uh, but, you know, I suppose each to their own in the how they derive pleasure from their hobbies. Right, now, how do we sneaky sneak up on these guys? Is there going to be enough cover around them to reach? I think the answer is yes. Get you marked out, plop a little pin on you, so I'm going to fill you up. I mean, I, I I might just be like a bit too hippie for that kind of way of thinking. Um, I'd never let the deer feel any pain though. I mean, that's exactly right. You know, even when I'm honestly, even when I'm playing this game, if I put a bad shot into something and it's not dead, I do do my best to kind of go and clean up after myself, as they say. Uh, Uh, oh, for hunting bison, I need to put the slugs in. Slug. Let's get the gun out now so that we get this whole business over with. Right, you done? Good. Fantastic. Anyone else on the opposite shore? Oh, okay. Uh, there's nothing else to this mission that I need to know about, is there? Any animal down with a shotgun. I hope slugs count. I think I've said this before about this mission. <laughs> I hope slugs count. Um, if they don't, we're about to find out the hard way. Oh, there are bison prints here, who would have guessed? Oh, cool neck. Okay, apparently I'm still close enough to this tree to make a noise pushing through it. Good to know. on these things I uh, see is 50 meters uh, effective range 50 meters okay so we are nearly there did we sneak I mean the bison are so stupid we probably don't need to be as sneaky as we be plan is to get into that bush, which absolutely is something that would not work in IRL, but uh, plan is to get into that bush and then pop them. I'm literally just out in the middle of like the open here, <laughs> just crawling along on my hands and knees. This is so stupid. Uh, I may have not calculated the fact that this bush is underwater slightly. Uh, I'm worried that's going to force me to stand up at some point without me knowing about it. Oh, 
we got? We got a nice lassie bass. Bass? Bison. Nice lassie bison. Male a little further away. Uh, another male over there. What distance to about 40 meters? What's the standard zeroing on this? You're already zeroed to 100 meters? Why? Okay. Uh, I don't see a particularly good reason. Not to just. Oh, okay, I thought we have to do that. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I made them mad. Oh no. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Ha 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 ha. Right. That's actually. Reload. Okay, there's one down over there. Uh, I wonder if those guys are... Yeah, they are fleeing. They heard me. That's... Actually, that's okay, because I can't go shoot them anywhere or I'll smush this zone. Oh! They actually both conveniently died over here. That's nice. That is a red deer. I would not mind having a red deer to add to my tally. Uh, oh, for God's sake. I don't want a long retrieve at night, trust me. Harvest any animal down within 20 meters at night. Oof, that's a... that's an ask. Uh, either way, it's not something we can do today. Uh, Doing a night mission. Uh oh. Uh, well, okay, I got, I got you. Uh, actually, I don't want to lure you too close, do I? Because I don't have a bow on me. I might have to say discretion is the better part of valor, and leave that red deer. So I don't think. I'm going to be able to shoot it without destroying this drinking zone. It's it's a shame. It's a real shame when you kind of see a bunch of animals like here, just like sat around being super obvious. Oh, you're even coming right up to me. That's not fair. I can't shoot you. There's a male over there somewhere. I want to get eyes on him in case he's a good one. If he's a good one, I want to know. He's a seven, so he's fairly good, but he's not like diamond or anything. That's fine. Okay. Right. Mission complete. Let's head up to here. I'm going to quad bike as far as this. Where we've been before. Uh, I should have a look around the lake actually first. In case there's anybody around. Oh, there is somebody around. There's a fellow there over there. You are downwind of me, which might make it a problem to get to you if I wanted to go for you. You are also wandering off. Nope, I tell a lie, you have wandered off past the tents. Uh, well, I guess that's made my decision for me. Um, oh, you swines, you're not that far away. But you'll not be there, you'll be gone by the time I get to you is the problem. Right. 
Press the quad bike. Get on the quad bike. Uh, and then, excuse me while I turn the volume down for you guys, because the quad bike is real heckin' loud. Is there a way by road to get to here? There is. But it's going through terrain that I've not really travelled on before, so let's not take it, we'll just take the direct route. That's oh, a rabbit thump. Oh my god, an actual rabbit! What the hell? I mean, that was the stupidest. I think the rabbit was 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 bugged out or something. This is the first time I've ever actually seen a rabbit in this game, and also the first time I've shot a rabbit in this game. Well, there we go. European rabbits are social and territorial animals. They prefer to live in large and complex burrow systems, brackets, warrens. The typical colony consists of 10 to 15 adults. Its ideal habitat consists of short grassland with secure refuge near feeding areas. Oh look, there's loads of these things near here. Can I... do these appear on my map at all? No. Okay. Well, I'll probably never find them again. Let's see how recently they've been used. Oh, there's still sort of a smear on the ground where the rabbit was. Um, oh, okay. Well, that's good to know that these exist. Uh, also, stupidest rabbit in the world that we just met. But that's fine. This forest looks interesting. Right, this is a Rodia feeding zone, it's good to have that on the old map. Right, this is probably a good enough place for us to park up. Uh, I'm gonna put the volume back up for you lot, now that the thing has passed. It will allow you to hear the wonderful sounds of the chorus of Kennedy geese. Because of course it does. Hooray. Hooray for Kennedy geese. Aren't they such marvellous majestic creatures, and not in any way annoying or noisy. My plan is, once we get here, we'll head to the road, head along the road. Will I head along the road? No, I'll just head straight to the uh, outpost. Actually, that's what's put the waypoint on the outpost direct. Um, and then from the outpost, we'll be able to kind of launch ourselves this way woods. I'm hoping that there'll be a way across the river here. Although, given the nature of the rivers on this map, that's probably unlikely. Uh, we won't be seeing any more animals for a while, because the quad bike does scare them off. 
in quite a large radius. But I figured it was better to do that than to trek on foot for like a kilometer again over terrain that we've already covered last stream. Uh, let's also load the shotgun back up with buckshot. Oh, look, this is a fox all got spooked by us, so she'll be long gone. We might meet other tracks of a similar nature. This might even be a track of a similar nature. Who made you? Come on. Uh, Red Deer, yeah, also spooked by us. That's the trade off for going fast. I still haven't figured out what a tower run is. I should have googled that after the last stream, but I didn't. Actually, also what I should have done after last stream is put a tent here so we could just fast travel to this point. And then I wouldn't have had to quad bike this time. But I didn't do that either. Oh, jeepy jeebus. That sounds pretty close. You were you are a bit downwind of me though. So you're probably not stupid enough to come closer even when I call you. Just in case you are, I do have a handgun for close range fox dispatching. Ideally, I want to get in this bush and hide there. First, that you do not see me. That's my plan. God, that bloody screecher is loud. We got just how bad it is. This bush is actually two bushes. And I don't see That's a stop sign. I was like, what's that shape over there? It's a stop sign. You can shoot it. I believe they do such things in the US sometimes, they sort of shoot their signs. Uh, it's not particularly beneficial to do so. And you were coming this way. Where did you go after that? You went down the hill. I think I've already missed you. Oh, look, there's rabbit birds. I wonder if there's rabbits near the rabbit birds. I'm gonna change out the ammo again. <laughs> uh, ching. Although the animation very clearly shows me like ejecting the the ones that are in the um, gun, I don't lose them, which is merciful. <laughs> I'm going to 
little bunnies around. Any at all? Oh my god, look at all those birds! <laughs> There's just, just like a cluster mine of birds has been dropped on the road here. This field seems like a perfect place to have rabbits in it, what with it being full of grass and next to some rabbit burrows. However... It does appear to be devoid of bunnies. Used recently, apparently. Uh, having not met these uh, burrows before, I don't really know if used recently means... Oh, it's Aspia. Hi there. You might even know the answer to the question I'm about to ask. Uh, rabbit burrows. You can't see it. There's a rabbit burrow over there. Uh, it says used recently. Does that mean someone's gone in there recently? Or does it mean that someone has either gone in or come out recently? I'm not also not sure how you figure out if a bar has been used recently. Just from, from looking at a hole in the dirt, but what do I know? Recently is not ATM, I think. Just now or very recently is the right time. Uh -huh. I, I am just not very sort of mechanically aware of how the, the European rabbit burrows work because until about 5-10 minutes ago I'd never seen a European rabbit in this game and I'd never, I'd never shot a European rabbit in this game. And I only managed to do either of those things successfully because one of them happened to glitch out. That's a nice big open field. Is anyone here? No, no one's here. Mm -hmm. Moving on. It's gorgeous though. This feels like a scene that I could see on a hike in the UK. Rain starting again. That definitely feels like a scene I could see on a hike in the UK. <laughs> oh dear. Um... I 
I think we've moved far enough away that we should be like well outside the area where our quad bike spooked any animals. How far back is that? 250 meters. No, 400 odd meters. If we're not outside the area now, we should be close, because I'm pretty sure it's like the same as render distance, which is only like 450 meters. Oh, hello. Who are you and where are you stood? You're a nervous red deer. I think I've got a clean shot. Fantastic. I wonder if that's the one we've been following. Ish. Oh, he didn't die. Which is odd, because I thought that was quite a well placed shot. The seven mil is a pretty hefty gun, so I would have expected it to down him fairly quickly. But what do I know, eh? Is that it? Is that the blood we got? Is that all the blood we got out of him? <laughs> no organs hit. Oh, that is a surprise. Well, like I said to Gregor Diamond, I'll keep following him. We have a, an idea of how big he is. Oh, he did. He has gone down. Okay, fantastic. Just not very well. I wonder if we like hit him in the shoulder, and the bone stopped us from penetrating deep enough. Mm -hmm. We are zeroed to the long distance. Hmm. Well, we're going to be following this trail for a while. Uh... I see. I say the Magnum is very powerful. Maybe it's not because it is like a four to nine instead of a six to nine. Maybe I should have grabbed a six to nine gun. I think I have one. I can't remember what it is, but I think I have one. Oh, Jesus! Was that an animal or was that a bit of leaf that I just saw moving over there? Maybe it's just a bit of leaf. Oh, hello! Another red deer. Right. I don't get you at all. Oh, 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 no you don't. Uh, pop him 
lock on you. Oh yeah, he went down much more easily. That's more like it. Oh, I can't actually run for a bit because I did just fire a gun. So a little bit of running doesn't hurt. Not a warning call? A mating call? Oh wow, he was just like chilling out right next to the body of his dead friend. Good job to you. Not. Well, I'm gonna load up the slugs. Just in case this guy happens to come for us. Throw the underbrush. Apparently lots of red deer around. Riley. Right, we can shoot one of them without exploding the uh, meat zone. So this was the first one we got. Oh, I actually was aiming too far forward. I went right through him, I just went right through too far. That's a shame. Huh. I have to remember that red deer are one of those animals that their organs are further back than you think they are. Oh, I didn't actually check what trophy that last guy was. Dark brown bronze, okay. Nothing special. Oh, you're a gold though. Very nice. And yeah, again, I thought I was going to hit this lung. I hit that one instead. Further back than you think. Must remember that. Not displeased though. Uh, I know we're heading directly away from where I want, want to be going, but there's deer. <clears throat> well, I'm hoping... No, I forgot what I was going to say. Never mind. Oh yeah, what I was hoping is the deer won't be too far away. So we don't have to go too far in the opposite direction. There's a few different ones. One of the things I find a little odd about the callers and stuff in this game is... And I, I can understand why for game mechanical purposes like this, but it feels odd from like a, an ecology perspective is that when I do a mating call on my deer blower, the deer will come towards me. But when another deer does a deer mating call, all the other deer don't move towards them. No, anyone here? I'm not going to go beyond this field. But if anyone happens to be in this field... No, I guess not. Maybe they lost interest in my calling, or maybe they were too far away to hear my calling. So actually that's about 200 meters, that's the range on my caller. There's someone very, very far away over there. I can actually see them moving, but I can't. I can't get a spot on them. <sighs> I can't make a shot that distance though. It's fine. Right, back on track. Uh, that's not where I need to go. 
That's where I need to go. Oh, stuck on a tree. It must be quite easy for people watching this to tell, like, when I do and don't have my hands on the mouse. You know, when I'm, when I've got my hands off to like have a quick drink or a coughing fit or something. Because, <laughs> like, right now, hands off mouse, obviously, no movement going on. But as soon as I put my hands on the mouse, I'm instantly, I'm like twitching. I'm, I'm looking in every direction, furtively, sneaky. Look from side to side. Uh, that probably hurts to watch, so I apologise for that. Um, but it's only a minor exaggeration. I'm, I'm restless. When I'm moving through the wilds, I'm restless. You know, I, I, as a perfect example, I can't even move through that bush without moving my cursor around at least slightly. Oh, what do we have here? More tracky tracks. I wonder whose these are. A speed limit sign this time. That was that caught my attention. I was like, "What the hell is that over there?" It's, it's a speed limit sign. There's lots of signs. We're near a road. Uh, we've actually crossed this road, which I hadn't sort of. Oh, damn it! You smelt me. I didn't even know you existed. You're the reason why I have the magnum, so I can shoot class four people. Do I actually need my point two four three? Oh, I need it for the foxes. That's right. Um, I don't know where you are. Can't see you. You're already startled. I don't really want to move too quickly. I'm assuming this is your sleeping zone. Ah, yeah. oh. oh, there's another one. I would appreciate it if you turned any other angle towards me. But shooting you in the back is not terribly effective. Someone closer. Oh, there you are. Right there. Oh my god, you jumped! Jesus. You proper leapt then. Right, okay, no more shooting animals for a while, because we've uh, huddled up a bit of hunting pressure, but that's fine. That's the whole point of the game. 
Okay, despite the jump, you did get a hit in the vitals. Well, you did get hit exactly where I intended to hit you. You just, I guess, then had a little glitch. Uh, how far do we need to go? We need to go another 130 odd meters until we're out of the patch of humble pressure. That's fine. Give me a chance to lean back, have a stretch. Ah, what time is it? Uh, 1 p.m. What time is it in game? Uh, nearly 4 p.m. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think I crashed the game. <clears throat> Not only have I crashed the game, the error report sender has also failed to send a report about my crash game. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, that's fine. That's fine. We'll uh, we'll be back in a moment. Oh, actually, this is a good point. While I, while we're here, oh, I just missed it. Why is Little Dizzy not showing? Little Dizzy, are you there? Oh, good. Um. Something I noticed that's on the screen of various like disclaimers, etc., is is a thing called Toby eye tracking. Now I don't know what Toby eye tracking is. Uh, oh my god, where am I? I'm in a tent. I'm in a tent here. Uh, hang on. Okay, we're just gonna. We're just gonna kind of quad bike all the way over here this time. Uh, let's turn the volume down so that you don't go deaf when I get on my bike. Uh, yeah, Toby, I tracking. Why did you not? What? Uh, I don't know what it is. I wasn't aware that there was any eye tracking in this game because, as far as I know, it's not using my camera or anything. Certainly never asked me to use my camera. Uh, up -do -do -do. Scan the lake shore. Just on off chance, there is a roadie over there. There's a roadie over there as well. You might be a little out of range. 368 meters. Uh, that's quite the shot. We're at 340 meters. That's definitely more more achievable. I go prone. Okay, if I go prone, I can't see you again. Oh, go back. Where's it going? Where's it? There it is. Okay, if I get me thingy out, I zero it for 300 meters. That was a hit. Uh, actually, the best way to get to you is to, to fast drive from here. Okay, we're gonna see if if that hit was any good. Uh. It probably wasn't. Ow. Oh, that's rocks. Oh, that's also rocks. <laughs> uh, dizzy driving is always a little interesting.
Uh, oh god, this is a hill. Oh god, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. That was some rocks. That was mostly okay. <laughs> uh, oh, bump out. But I think we're close enough. We do the rest on foot. Right, he didn't go down. He did get a hit. Let's see if we can spy a pool of blood. We can. No organs hit. It has died though. Okay. So it's going to be a bit of a track, but we can go and uh, pick up this radio. I think it's important for me to try and practice my long shots. Um. Oh, hello, what's this? Uh, there is absolutely no point in me calling for him, because he's going to be real spooked by my thing, isn't he? My quad bike. Oh, Jesus. Oh, look at the foxy rest zone up here. That'd be a good thing to have, add to my map. See, that sounds so close, but it also kind of sounds echoey. Where are you, little fox? Where are you? Well, oh, this is a rodeo, I so. Don't I think I'm going to get this fox. I think it's probably run away. It's clever. It's all good, it's all good. There'll be other foxes. Oh, there's a little house. That's where we took the shot from. Okay, our 
Rodia has gone through the water a bit. We're going to be following this road here for quite a while, just so everyone's aware and, and all on the same page. It did not go down quietly. Oh, hello. You're quite far away. Give you a bit of a blow anyway. Oh, maybe not too long now. We're below 25%. <sighs> right, then we can get back to what we were actually supposed to be doing, which is picking up where we left off. Nice. I think the, the, the field of Christmas trees does still cause flashbacks. Um, we've not really been here at all, have we? Yes. There's all these uh, blank checkpoints. Oh, here's our body. We'll be able to figure out where our shot landed. Oh, and 
conveniently happen upon a new need zone. Somebody else is here. Oh, I don't know who. I'm gonna take a gamble based on the droppings that maybe it's fallow deer. What have I got in my shotgun? I think that's red deer. Right, it's gonna pop out and then we're gonna shoot it. What is that? Is that a roe deer? Ugh, let me spot the damn thing! I can't tell what kind of deer you are. You are a roe deer. Were a roe deer. Oh! Wow, I actually hit way too high! on that long distance shot. Huh, okay. Ah, I see, the rodeo is not the one who the the sleep zone belongs to. Sleep zone is, is a fallow deer rest zone, so I was right about that. I was just wrong about assuming that that would be the person who was here now. Uh, I was like, oh, there's movement over there. Nope. Nothing to be excited over. I don't think there's going to be anybody else here, especially after I just blasted someone. No, okay, right. I think we're ready to get back on with what, what what the actual plan was in the first place. Which is going by car. So volume down so it doesn't deafen you. Boop, recover. I hate when you kind of sort of bounce off the quad bike. Because you've hit space and it wasn't ready for it. Ow. That's a tree. Well, it's a bush. Does this leave a trail of smushed corn behind me? Oh, it does! Look, you can see the way I've come. Uh-huh, that's neat. Some, like, grassy-type entities and assets uh, respond and, like, get walked over in the game, but some don't. You never sort of really know in advance which one one is going to be. What? What? There's corn growing here, just like, under the trees. This is not part of the field. <laughs> oh god, hang on. Jesus. Good grief. Ow, that hurts. Um, being ill would not recommend. At all.
Not even slightly, in fact. Uh, is this going to be part of the rest zone I already knew was here? No, this is a new rest zone. A foxy loxy rest zone. Uh, one that would have been active if I hadn't been driving all over everywhere with the loudest quad bike ever created. Uh, ow, ow. That's fine, we just sort of mounted that bush there. Uh, this is a new rest zone. Uh-oh. <laughs> I flipped. I flipped the, uh, the quad bike there. A little awkward. <clears throat> Where are we going? This is the- this is also the tower run. Okay. I see, I think. So it's that tower and everywhere the tower can see? Is the tower run, maybe? I don't know what's so special about that particular tower, but... It doesn't even have a particularly great field of view. <clears throat> uh oh, treat. Ow. <clears throat> also choking to death. Let's, uh, let's go from here. Ow, alley, ow, 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 ow. Let's wander along the road. Because I've, uh, I've not seen the road particularly much where we are. Oh, good grief. Choking to death. Uh, actually, no, let's keep driving because the area ahead of us is all hunting pressure. Changing my mind every five seconds, I know. You'll get used to it. I was like, oh, we'll park the quad bike far away so that we don't scare off all the animals. But we don't want to see the animals in this bit anyway, because we can't shoot them here. Oh, I do enjoy the way that it, like, kicks up dirt. Right. Okay, pull me back up. Uh, buckshot in the shotgun. I think there was already buckshot in the shotgun. That's fine. <laughs> Off we head. About 400 meters, so there may or may not be any more animals between us and it. Ugh. Ooh, ah. Oh, and suddenly Dizzy has, has contracted Call of the Wild Sleepy Virus. Which is always an inevitability when playing one of these games, but catches me by surprise every time. There's a lot of signs on this bit of road. There's a stop sign and an 80 sign. I feel like going from, from stops to 80 is, is quite the jump. <clears throat> I know that's not how road signs work. Uh, no? The size of that was real loud. Look back. 
spot you. Slugs loaded. Right, we've got, we've got a female. We've got another female. I'm lucky I can get in this tree. Fantastic. You guys want to come back for a sec? I was a little busy, so I couldn't shoot you before. Guys? Oh, you run on. Did I spook you? I think I spooked you. No, okay. I guess you didn't let me blow the horn again, did you? Oh, who was that? Hello. I'd be more than happy to say hi to you instead. Wherever you are. That's me, old quad bike. You must have come up right close to that. This is right daft. I don't really want to go too far off track to look for you. I am also aware that we are spending daylight. We just sit around and wait on the off chance that you come. Okay, I'm gonna back up and never. We happen to aspire one of these two who was over here to we'll take a watch at our own. Oh, don't do that. That was big, which says close, but I didn't hear it, which says far. Okay, it's fine. It didn't destroy... It may have destroyed this. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. I thought I was... I thought I was out... Yeah, it's destroyed that. Damn it! I thought I was out of the area. I thought I was further up this way, but I was not. I'm just a fool. I'm a complete moron. Which way did you go? Oh, there's the body, it's over there. Idiot Dizzy, idiot, 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 idiot. He got so excited. I, I think partly it's because the, the females kind of were more over here. And they probably would have been fine to shoot. And then I turned around to go back for this one. Ah, heaven save me from myself. All right. Silver light brown. Not worth destroying a need zone for. At all. <sighs> One day, I will think about things before I do them. It also probably doesn't help that, um... I'm used to having a bow, so I'm used to be able to to shoot more than two on one spot. Oh, you can shut up. I'm not shooting you. I'm already grumpy. <laughs> hmm. I said shut up. 
I'm mad, okay? I'm mad at myself for shooting an animal I shouldn't have shot. This is an interesting little bit of castle. Will you stop? Okay, the answer's no. If he wants to be shot, go and stand, like, over there. In fact, if you want to be shot, go to the outpost that I'm also going to and just wait there for me, okay? Otherwise, hush. Bloody idiot Dizzy. Bloody, bloody, bloody idiot Dizzy. Get your bed in your bed, I Uh, what is this water body? This is Ritterstein Lake, apparently. Oh, we are right next to the straw fields. <laughs> um. Oh, look, there were some red deer over here. These would have been much better ones to shoot than the one I did shoot. Yeah, I'm going to be bitter about this for a while, guys, just so you know. Uh, this is a really cool castle, though. I love this. Oh, I say castle. It may not be the castle. Peter saying ruined village. A ruin probably once part of a 17th century fortress it is a castle, guarding the Hirschfelden River Delta. Mm. This was how people here exerted their control on... I was about to say all of the people upstream, but there's not really a lot of upstream to to control. Uh, oh, I'm accidentally climbing it. That's fine. <laughs> this is fine. I'm just clambering all over this old ruin. Uh, let's go out this way. And then... It's worth having a little bit of a nosy around, in case there's a collectible. I can't see one, and I think I would by now. It's not that big. Let's play this out there. Oh, Sometimes the ability to see through walls is extremely useful. Uh, this is the lake. not super far across. Uh, and then we're nearly at the um, outpost. What? So it is an hour in game until nightfall. I guess the question is what do I want to do with this time? This is a very convenient base for accessing both of these new areas. I haven't heard many geese. Which suggests that maybe this isn't actually going to be a super good place to set up a goose trap. Which would be a real shame, if that's the case, because I've never done one before, and I was kind of looking forward to it.
Oh, hello. Uh, Foxy at 300 meters. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up on this rock. Go prone. Because you're more stable than prone. That was a hit. We'll have a look in the sec to see if it was a kill, but it was definitely a hit. It might have been a bit high. It seems to have been a bit high. That's a little bit of a shame. I'm not lying. Let's check if there's anybody else on the shores. Ah, Fox did go down. Oh, <laughs> so did I, apparently. Uh, well, I guess that uh, probably gives us a, a answer for how we're going to spend the rest of our in-game daylight. Is going to be finding this fox. If we're lucky, if we're very lucky, some more animals might appear in our visual range while we're on the way. But I kind of wouldn't bet on it. As I've mentioned before, the, the waterways are not super productive hunting territory on this map. At least by the standards I'm used to. Oh, there's a little jetty here. Could fish off of that if we were in the other game. How far is it the distance? About 300 meters, but it's not straight. So maybe four to five hundred actual distance that we've got to cover, which takes quite a while. Sneaky sneak through these reeds so we can get close to animals, is what I was going to say, entirely facetiously. But maybe there will be. Uh... Check we've got the gun loaded. Yes, we do. 
Oh, hello, who's that? That's a fallow deer. Heading over that way. Not the originator of our little call, but we can give a little rattle and she might be in range. Oh, there's lots of animals around. Lots and lots of animals around. Which is good news. Slowed down because I thought I heard footsteps. But they might have just been mine. <laughs> I know you're over there. I heard someone who was closer. I'm hoping they come for me. Hello? What have we got? Got a red deer. It's gone behind that little hillock, actually. Also a fox. I can sort of see, but can't spot. There's just everything over here, apparently. And all of it is just like a little too tricksy at the moment. I want to get in this bush up ahead. Use it as a, as a spotting point. Oh, I gotta do it quickly but also quietly. Which is maximum in this game. Where did that fox go? I think I've lost the fox. I might still have the deer though. Sounds super close. There is one. There's more of you. Male at all? There you are. I don't know what happened there. My aim just absolutely went mental. <sighs> Damn! I don't know what happened. I, I, I was on him and then I just zoinked off to the left. Damn! Damn, damn, damn! <sighs> Utter disaster. Total disaster. Couldn't have gone worse. Could not have gone worse. Was doing fine. Like, the females had come, then the male. Had a great bead on the female. Uh, on the male. Could easily have blasted some of the females instead if I'd wanted to. And then. Pfft, I don't know. Moving a mouse an inch to the left for some reason. No idea. No idea.
total travesty. Apparently, they're sort of... they've stopped being nervous. I'm gonna give a blow. Let's see if any of them are inclined to come back. I wouldn't expect them to. Like, from a bow shot that missed? Maybe. But from a gunshot, I'd be very surprised. However, she's sort of thinking about it, isn't she? It's not a definite no. That's okay. Ah, oh, I'm really grumpy about missing the the red deer male shot. No, oh, no, let's not bother ourselves with that fox. We've got an actual fox to get. The Red Deal were only targets of opportunity in the end. <sighs> Just a really squandered opportunity. Oh, maybe it means I need to rest my hand for a bit. Take it off the mouse. Do a little bit of a, of a, a weekly exercise. <sighs> Continue being cross with myself. Alright, the wind has flipped around almost entirely and is now pointing northeast. Which is probably good if we want to explore that area to the left there. That's like the second time in the last 15 minutes I've been cross with myself for taking a shot at a red deer. Um, <laughs> this is, it's not my day today, apparently. I'm only streaming this because I didn't really know what else to stream. I like sort of thought about uh, the various games that I'm streaming at the moment. Oh, oh, our foxy body is right up here. That's super handy. Uh, yeah, I thought about what else I might want to stream, and <sighs> it was like oh, I could do this, I could do that. I'm not really sure. Like, not it's not that there's anything. It's not that like I wasn't keen on any of them per se. It's that I was sort of all, I, I was middling on all of them. Uh, this was very nearly a Paraspora stream today. Don't be surprised if there's a Paraspora stream tomorrow. Because uh, I did eventually buy it. And the DLC, I think. Right, where did we get you? We got you... oh, very low. Apparently. It's unfortunate. Ah, uh, right. It's 6.57. Let's... Uh, no, I want this one. Right, so what are our nighttime missions nowadays? That's not technically one, but it requires the ground blind. It requires foxes, uh, which would basically means it's a nighttime one. 
Oh, I could have been actually working on this already. Harvest any animal down within 20 meters of the shotgun. Oh no, I couldn't because it hasn't been night time until now. Um, let's just find a big male bison. Uh, this is the one I'm actually going to go for. Okay, so there's this one's a nighttime one, this one's a nighttime one, and this one's basically a nighttime one. Right, let's head. On down here. We've conveniently removed all of the hunting pressure from that area by blasting a bunch of mostly deer elsewhere. <coughs> there are road deer over that way, which might well be in this field. If so, that's really good news. Uh, let's see, it's over there. Oh, might not be in the field. We've got two more to grab. Uh, and this is a mission that basically requires the 243 out of our current loadout. Because, um,. The buckshot and the shotgun is too powerful for them. As is the magnum. I don't know if I have any guns that have a range of like, I don't know, like 3 to 5 or something. Or 2 to 5. I don't know of any, but. <clears throat> you know, for your class 2s and 3s, it's difficult to find better than the ranger. There might be a, a semi-auto one in the modern weapons pack that can do it nowadays, but uh, generally your point two four three is the bet you want to go for. Or at close range, obviously I've got my handgun, but it's unlikely to. I've got this on, I've got this on. I need to change that back, that's fine. Uh, nope, don't remember what I was saying, lost my train of thought entirely. I corrected my, my zeroing, which is important. It's a good job that I did that. It's probably more important than whatever I was saying beforehand. That's a fallow deer mating call. That's almost certainly one who's sat here. Where's the wind blowing? The wind's blowing north, that's actually really to my advantage. Because uh, none of my ground blinds point north into a field. They, they, these goes go east-west, this goes east, this goes south. Oh wow. Can't see it very well through the binoculars because they're night vision binoculars, but uh, that moon. It's a good moon. Uses. There they are. There's the fellows happily chilling out. <clears throat> Ah, uh, they might be north enough from my other ground blind to make life a little awkward if I want to shoot them from the ground blind, which I absolutely do.
That's another fallow deer. That's a a red deer. I've already spooked that red deer away once last night because I wandered down while still wearing my backpack, even though I was sure that I'd taken it off. Um, don't seem to be red deer around, from what I can make out. So, we're probably safe to just take pot shots from here. Although I could, and perhaps should. I'll head over to the other pair. I'll head over to this one. Have a look out. Oh my god, shut up, geese! I know I've mentioned before that I dislike geese, um, or the noises of geese in this game. He's active till 9 and 9.30, so I should have plenty of time. Yeah, I'll, I'll sneak over to this one, make sure there's no road here that I'm going to scare away. Because if there's road here, they are the priority target. I'm kind of inclined to actually leave these two here. I've been trying to avoid buying more... You're a fellow, you're a fellow. You're a fellow. Apparently you're fleeing. Guess I was a bit loud, maybe. Um... That's a Rodia. It's a Rodia who's heard me, which is not ideal. But it's better than no Rodia at all. It does present a challenge. So I've got to get to this to shoot it. There's no point shooting it if I don't get to this. hell's that? That's a roe deer. <sighs> Damn it. I was nearly in time. Right. There's that red deer. See, you're not spotted for some reason. <sighs> I only need to be a little quick and I would have got that Rodeo. <gasps> Speaking of, Rodeo. Let's see if I can real quick. Oh. I saw a roe deer running past. I was like, ah, oh, can I get it? No, I couldn't. And that's now spooked the red deer. But the red deer was not the main target when there was a roe deer around. <clears throat> I see you moving over there. I don't know which way you're going, but I see you. I'm not sure what animal you are. I think you're the red deer. 
I like how it goes quiet, all the geese shut up. After I, uh... You know, apparently walking away from... It's a shame. Not unexpected, but a shame. I think there's a chance of attracting it on the road in the back. I'm going to have a quick glance in this other field. I, I love ground blinds for their ability to massively decrease hunting pressure. They're just not super practical to actually use, is the problem. I'll come back for the body in a sec, but I want to check the field first. The plan is check the other fields from here, then grab the body, and then check both fields again. Save so the field, that's actually. There's two, two shiny fields with a red deer, a couple of red deer in, any roe deers, before I start taking shots, no, okay. Wine. Just as I was about to take the shot, he lies down. Okay, I think I've still got the shot behind that female. Oh, you stop doing that! <laughs> I no longer think I have the shot past the female. That's really annoying. I could, I can blow for him. Hang on. Right, she's sitting down. Gotta be quick, gotta be quick. Nope. Didn't hit him. I'm stuck on something. Which I don't like. Dear body around here somewhere. It doesn't look like it was a kill shot, unfortunately. Even though I sort of thought it was in the right place. I don't know what I hit with the first shot. It might have been one of the it might have been the female in like the head or the leg or something. And then there's that that level eight one over there, who's a real pain. Okay, well, you're a nice gold little rodeo with your cute little horns. I'm gonna go over here and have a look at the blood splat to see what that one I hit. Even though it was obviously not what I was aiming to hit. Uh, and then we're gonna go check out the other tents, other ground blinds. Oh, okay. Not you, but the female did go down. I assume the female. It could also have been you, but it didn't look like I hit you. Ah, okay, you've also also gone down. 
That's fantastic news. Okay, so we'll head over to here, which is roughly where the female was. I assume the female, because there was a he had a body blocker. Thought I'd place the shot high enough to not hit them. But I was obviously wrong. Oh my god, there's a radio over there. How far is that? That's 270 meters from me. That's probably too far to take the shot from the ground blind, even if I could see it. That isn't too far, maybe, to take the shot from there. But, will it still be there in time? And the answer to that question is definitely no. I, yeah, I don't think I can actually see him down there because there's this row of trees that run down the middle here. Oh, that's really awkward. Uh, right, which one of these tracks around here is a blood splatter? I'm gonna stand up so I've got a little bit of a better view. I have no idea. I have no idea which one of these tracks is the track I'm looking for. This is a problem. Because if I have to investigate this slowly to avoid sp Oh! There's blood. Blood, 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 blood. I was about to say, if I have to investigate this slowly to avoid spooking the road deer, then it's not going to work out, but it's fine. Yeah, so this was a no organs here. I have no idea what I did hit. I'm guessing it's going to be like a glancing skull shot? Question mark? That's my best guess. Okay, and then... So I picked up that trail. The place where I hit the nail is going to be over here somewhere. If I'm very lucky, I'll go past it. Oh, this is going to take a while. How long do your feed zones last? Until half eight? Nah, it's already too late, really. Like, I could feasibly get back to that ground blind and maybe, maybe have a shot if it sticks around right till the end of its time, which they don't always do. Get a piece of that. Right, can I see the other blood splat that should be around here? The answer to that question is no, I cannot. Oh. But there is a body here. Not sure whose body, but hey, but I guess this must be the males, right? So I'm following the female, right? Yes, okay. Oh! I got you way further back than I thought. That's a shame. Oh dear. Uh, Mark where that deer was, even though I would be very surprised if it was still there by the time I come to the other place. Right. This is the one I'm following. She goes, she went this way. It's fine, we've only got one left.
Oh, there's the body. Okay, so we will at least be able to get onto those other ground lines quickly. So even though I won't expect the radio to still be feeding, because there's only 12 in-game minutes left of feeding time, it might still be around. If I'm very lucky. I'm very, very lucky. Okay, female. Yeah, look, her head got in the way. Real shame. Okay. Okay, so you're just. You were. Just. To the bottom left. Oh, cat kind of just heard a radio call. You were just to the bottom left of the S of cornfields. So if I head here directly, I might still be on that side, like in this field area. This is a big area. If you wander around slowly, you might not leave my sightline. I also do sometimes stay like a little bit after, but they also sometimes leave early. I've also definitely had times before where they have, like, been using a need zone at just, like, completely the wrong time. Which I don't know what that's about, but, uh... You, know, you, you definitely can't rely on that sort of thing. Uh, make haste. Make haste, make haste, make haste. That's a puppy dog. So they are, of course, out and about this time of day. That's a rodeo over there. Don't think that's... That might be visible from here. If it's visible from where I am, it might well be visible from here. Okay, and you might be there for quite a while. That's good news. That's real good news. So you were somewhere down there. That's where I've got to look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Better things to be doing than... I'm dealing with you, puppy. As much as I love foxes and 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 the the well, <laughs> as much as I love slash hate the challenge of shooting them. Oh, there's geese over there. So if you come to an area like this enough, you eventually find loads and loads and loads of different animals using it. Normally, sometimes you just never find anything because there's just nothing there. But, uh, you know, when you get to a place that animals do use, you often find that loads and loads of animals use it. Where the, where the hell is that? What? I've, I've been off track. I'm supposed to be aiming for this. Cack, I've lost that rodeo. It was down here somewhere. I didn't keep a good enough track of where it was. Because I wasn't expecting to, to, to spot something else and lose it, I guess. My mistake, won't be making it again. Ha ha, we'll definitely be making it again. Frequently. And with increasingly severe consequences. That fox is getting closer. Oh, I don't have a bow, I should have blown it. Oh dear. Right, avoid the mistake we made last time. Okay, 
is there a road over where we saw one before? The answer is no, but we weren't necessarily expecting there to be. That's kind of fine. Is there a road here between there and us? And the answer is again no. That's chill. We're just gonna go to the other one, see if we can find the sleepy guy. Although these trees do make a hell of a lot of noise. Which is subpar. Uh, he was about sort of over here ish. He was in that area. In fact, if I have a look, I might be able to see him from here. Yes, there we go, okay. Right, that, if it's in sightline, that is an achievable shot. I'll have a glance around first. Oh, it might not be in sightline. I heard another animal. Don't dismantle the tent. I don't know why they're on the same bloody keybind. Is that a fox in there? Probably is. Is. Do I take the shot at the fox? Can I see the radio from here? We'll find this out very quickly. The answer is no, I can't, okay. Do I think I can take that moving shot? Maybe. Nope. It was behind something. That's okay. I gave it a go. I gave it a go. Oh, you were so close! I should have shot you with a shotgun. Even though it would have messed you up, I should have done it anyway. Blast. Literally blast. What ammo do I have in the shotgun at the moment? Well, it was a good shot on the fox, and I couldn't see the roe deer. Doesn't mean it's any less disappointing. Right, I could go back to the other tent and have a glance at them. That Rodeo did flee over to the over to the right, which is the field that my other ground blind looks at. Oh, I can actually see quite a lot of the field from here, but it isn't visible from there. It's presumably going to be going to look for somewhere else to rest. I'll have a look from the other, from the other tent, and then I'll head back to here in case it's travelled all this way. I don't know of any radio rest zones, but I can have a look for them.
be sorry of you. That's a big old nope. That's geese. Got very excited very briefly. That's just geese. That's also just geese. I have no idea how. Oh, what was that? I saw something. Um, a foul idea. That's a puppy. I actually could try and take the shot at the foul idea. Oh, no wait, it's behind that tree. Oh, there's a male over there who is unfortunately also behind that tree. Where are they? They're up there. I think they're actually at this feed zone. Okay. We're gonna go back to the other thing. <coughs> See if we can see anything else new from there. Take some shots at those fallow deer. You are, let's be remembered there. Up here, just past the curve. I think that should be visible. Well, then maybe not if there's the tree line. But if there is the tree line, we can give them a, a rattle and hopefully lure them in closer. Because they were definitely beyond rattling distance. This is 270 meters. Oh, that might be the same distance. They might be beyond rattling distance from here as well. Um. <sighs> the nighttime roe deer hunt is not going super great. I think I, I'm going to keep this tent and these two. I think these actually have a really good view between them. I am also very tempted by the level 8 deer that crops up here from time to time. Uh, but once the mission's over, I'm definitely going to dismantle this lot. I don't think they're useful enough. I mean, they, they cover areas with, with, with good animals in them, like a good number of animals, but I don't think they're useful enough. I think it's fine to just have these two covering... Because these cover this area, this whole area, and they kind of cover a bit beyond. Because even if I can't necessarily shoot something from the ground blind there. They give me a position advantage where I can see it, move towards it, and then shoot it. If I was going to keep one, it would be this one. Game time is 21.10. See, there's plenty of time left on that Rodeo Rest Zone. It could feasibly come back. I mean, it wouldn't necessarily settle down somewhere where I could see it, because last time it was sat here, which is a dead handy place to sit. But it, you know, it could come back to the rest zone and then sit here. This is the same distance away, but on the other side, so it's out of my area, and it's also completely invisible. <sighs> I don't know if that would have been beyond... if that's... Uh, you can't see, I'm measuring with my fingers on screen. If that's 270 meters, that road there might have been inside calling distance. Maybe I could have called to it instead of getting the fox. Wish I, had, I wish I had a good gun on the for taking out geese at range. They would be so dead. <laughs> um
Now uh, that red deer zone is over now, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm not expecting the level 8 to be back tonight. That's a red deer. Travelling, I wonder where travelling to. Uh, I don't know of another zone for you guys. Right, this is not because even though from the inside both sides look like doors, you can actually only get in from the, the door on the far side, which is a little annoying. But that's what you have to deal with in that. There is a fallow deer in this field. I think we've just scared away some geese. I'm about to scare away a few more if I see this fallow deer. There, male fallow deer. Range almost exactly 150. I see absolutely no reason not to shoot it right now. Double check that the magnum alloy does what I think it does. It does. It does do what I think it does. Sorry, dear. <laughs> oh, that looked like a pair of eyes looking at me that glow for a second. Jesus. Uh, I can kind of speed up a bit going across this field. I have, again, just fired a gun. Uh... Oh, Jesus, hello. Who are you? Give you a blow on the old blower. Not expecting. Oh, I, can't, I can't. Thank you. Not expecting anything. Just on the off chance. Wait, I can afford one non ground line shot in the local area. Particularly up there where there's not the zone so much. Uh, body, 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 where did the body go? There is the body. I love the quiet after you've fired your gun. <laughs> Boom, straight through. Very lovely. Uh, no, that fox has been too clever to come back. Which is what we expected. Bloody geese are back! <laughs> That's, this is one thing I'm not looking forward to if I do the, the goose trap, is having to listen to all of this noise. Oh my god, it's endless! Local man shouts at Sky, SHUT UP! Uh, I might, after I've had a look out of this ground blind, I might call it a day. We're two and a half hours in, which is a good run, uh, and it might be nice to kind of let the game reset itself and come back next session before things like this zone have expired. That's my think. That is 100% of my think.
If we check off one row deer a night, I guess that's not the end of the world. I can be kind of happy with that. Uh, the other thing I could do is play through the game a lot and then come back next night. Like, in my own time. Play through on my own, as I am wont to do. Don't think there's going to be anyone out here. That area is roughly where we saw the other pack of fallow deer. Uh, up here. They are definitely not there anymore, or if they are, they're somewhere I can't see. It's okay. Yeah. No, okay, doke. Well, that's where we're going to call it, folks. Uh, I hope everyone has enjoyed watching. Uh, if you have and you are here with me on Twitch, please do consider dropping a follow. Uh, every number that gets me closer to that magic 50 goal uh, is uh, a number very much appreciated. Uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, then please do consider dropping a like, maybe even subscribing if you want to see more of this. Uh, my YouTube now has on the order of 15 previous episodes of uh, Call of the Wild and Hirschfelden. Uh, has uh, the Gang of Call of the Wild, it has a couple of other maps that I've played on for this game. It has all of the other games that I play, like Paraspra, if you want to see that uh, before I do a another episode of it tomorrow or at least sometime this week uh, or any of the other games that I play or have played in the past. It's literally all on there. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter where I am at Tis for Demise and I send out a tweet every time I go live so you never have to miss one of these in the future if you don't want to. Other than that, uh, that's all from me. I'll be back at midday tomorrow. Uh, thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you all then. <laughs> Ta-ra!